for you, you cunt. Know how long I waited for this? Ten fucking years. You come into my town and take the fucking piss out of me. Isn't it true, Mr. Hardy, that you're one of the biggest drug dealers in the Midlands? I'd like to ask you another question about your drug dealing operations. Ten years ago, I met and befriended Wayne Hardy. Mr. Hardy, how much money have you made from drugs in recent years, Mr. Hardy? He was a drug dealer, but I was working undercover. Where have you hidden your money, Mr. Hardy? And now, we're going to meet. You got yourself into a situation, you're looking that you come out okay. One part of me was saying, go on, man, fucking smack him. Reckless of your employees to put you in that situation. I don't suggest you do it again. While undercover a decade ago, I became Wayne's gym training partner. Wayne is still obsessed with bodybuilding and once held the coveted title of Mr. Nottingham. Hardy is by all appearances a very wealthy man. He claims to have made his money recently through legitimate means and by share dealing. In and out. Result? Just going to get a smack to in about another few months. Right? Yeah, it's just... What would they say? Just uh, adjourning it for some psychiatric reports. Both um, my girlfriend and my daughter were dead. She, she killed my daughter and then killed herself. But is believed to belong to one of the city's major crime families. Instinct. I just ran into the road after him. Um, and I, I just looked at him and knew, knew, and I, I knew he was dead. That Dean, as he was, he can be a fucking dangerous motherfucker. And he had a, a knuckle duster with spikes and a, somewhat on the end of it. And he actually stabbed him and fucking slashed him and did he didn't, killed him. He didn't do it. Well, he, no, he didn't do it. No, he didn't do it. Well, they didn't, they didn't get him. Well, they didn't know he didn't do it anyway. Wayne and his brother Dean were known to the police from an early age. They quickly rose through the ranks as teenagers, and the Hardy Boys became the city's biggest suppliers of recreational drugs by their 20s. The heroin is not just. Um, uh, it's a physical addiction as well as a mental addiction where other drugs aren't so strong. I should know that because my daughter's on it. How much time have you spent in jail? Oh, I can't even remember I've spent that, that much yet. Sometimes I'm relieved to know when that, she's yeah. in prison because I know she's not being used as a prostitute. Her husband Jim is 22 years older than Kylie. They met when she was funding her drug habit by working as a prostitute. I don't know what I would have done without you, you know. Honestly, I, probably, I think I would have been dead by now. Yeah. And were you under gear for your wedding day? Yeah, I was. Was you? So I'm telling you, mate, get fucking stronger. Don't phone me up telling me you can't find her, you can't do this. So if you can't look after her, then just get your bags packed and fuck off. Because I will look after her. I'll take her back again and I will look after her. Oh, swear to God. I like you, Jim. But I'll kick you, mate. I'll kick you to the curb, you know what I mean? No, he's not on the heroin. She fucking slashed her fucking wrist. I'm asking you now, please don't go up to my daughter with drugs or anything like heroin like that. Can I find out who you are, I'll chop your fucking hands off. Why the Jesus tattoo, Wayne? I suppose any of them are God-fearing gangsters, aren't they? 